Hi, welcome to Harbor, a trusted cloud native repository for Kubernetes. As the usage of Kubernetes keeps on getting increased, a requirement for a highly secure, highly scalable, as well as feature rich registry is also getting increased. Harbor is an open source registry and it got graduated from CNCF, Cloud Native Computing Foundation. It's a secure registry which provides a policy as well as role-based access control and it makes sure all the images that are getting added as a part of the repository are scanned and free from vulnerabilities. It also provides the features to sign the images and make sure the images are trusted. It delivers all the required compliance as well as a highly performing registry so that it can host n number of repositories. Don't worry about the terminology that I am using over here like registries, repositories, containers, images. We are going to have detailed discussion on all these terminologies. This is a quick introduction to get started quickly on Harbor. So in short, Harbor is going to provide a secure artifact that is the images for cloud native platforms like Kubernetes and Docker. Now let's have a quick introduction on what is a registry, what is a repository, what is an image. For any container to run, we need an image. Let it be a Docker container or other containers where I need an image to get started with that specific container. And I need a centralized location so that all the team members or the client can use that specific image. And for that, we are going to have something called a repository. Repository is nothing but a location where I can hold one or more versions of any specific container image. And I can tag the image with various versions. And I'm going to have a server side application, which is going to have features like highly secure, highly scalable and a stateless application, which is going to have the capability to hold n number of repositories and that is called a registry. Harbor is a type of registry and it is a open source and it is feature rich where it is going to have all the features of enterprise grade registries along with it. We are going to have detailed discussion on how to do the installation, how to manage the Harbor registry and how to make it enterprise grade. Let's not delay any further. Let's quickly get started on setting up the machine and do the installation of Harbor.